Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. It's August 28th, 2009, and I have a fresh retail copy of Snow Leopard ready for installation. Now before you follow these steps and use this as your general guide on how to upgrade from Leopard to Snow Leopard, I just want to make sure you've read the blog post on MichaelSherlock.com entitled Snow Leopard Prep. This will just make sure you have everything ready to allow for the seamless, the most seamless upgrade. And as well, uh, just generally speaking, make sure you have a backup. I have a backup on this Freecom Tough Drive. So let's get started with the upgrade. So inside you get a little pamphlet with Snow Leopard installation features and refinements. So if you go to the first page here, it just tells you to insert the Snow Leopard disc into your Mac and then just follow the instructions and you can also click customize. And as you can see, or as I'm telling you, there are no serial numbers. And that's something that I really like about the way Apple does things, because everybody knows that serial numbers are designed to stop piracy or illegally taking the software, but people, if they really want it, they're going to get it. So th it doesn't matter if you have serials or not. So Apple doesn't waste users' time by having to deal with serials, serial numbers. And I think uh, that's really the right to choice. And here is Snow Leopard. So let's go ahead and install it into my Mac. Book Pro. And just a note, I've taken all the peripherals out except for the power cable uh, just because. There it is, install Snow Leopard. So we're going to double click. So from here, as you can see, there are some extras you can install besides the normal stuff. You can also install Rosetta, which is their emulation software for PowerPC applications, and QuickTime 7, because even though QuickTime 10 is included with Snow Leopard, some things do not work. And right before we start, let's just uh, see how much hard drive space we have to see if there's anything saved by installing. And right now, if we zoom in just to get confirmation, we have 62.13 gigabytes of storage available on the hard drive. So let's continue. And uh, we just had a reboot. So we'll uh, see what happens with that. So now it looks like we've totally booted into the CD and it's going ahead and installing uh, Snow Leopard. It seems to be uh, installing much quicker than it was when uh, it was installing before, I guess. So 33 minutes to go. One thing I just want to note while this is installing, and you can take this however you want, uh, the $29 upgrade you get can be installed if you want to on machines that don't have any software on it already so that allows you to do a clean install but it also allows you to go from tiger directly to snow leopard so even though apple advertises that you know if you have tiger right now you're gonna need to buy the mac box set that's much more than that twenty nine dollar price point just keep in mind that even though that's what they tell you you can still use the regular snow leopard upgrade disc to go from tiger to snow leopard as well, even though they have a family pack that can be installed on multiple computers, it's pretty much the same disk. So I'm just giving you the information. I only have one Mac, so it doesn't really apply to me. But some people, you can take this information with whatever you want. You can basically install this on as many machines uh, as you have as well as going directly from Tiger to Snow Leopard. So just a disclaimer, I'm not responsible for whatever you do with that information, but it is information that you that I'm obligated to inform and give you. So we're at the final stages of this upgrade with less than a minute remaining. This upgrade has been fairly seamless. Again, this is uh, the more easy method. There's a harder method uh, that's for more advanced users that allows you to wipe the drive clean but this is the upgrade path that most people are going to take and the upgrade path Apple wants you to take to help prevent data loss. 
essentially you're just it's taking it's the installation process is replacing leopard system files with snow leopard system files everything else sh supposedly should remain intact so this is just the easy upgrade path and uh, at youtube.com slash the revived one hopefully in a few days I'll be able to demonstrate the more advanced upgrade path judging by the status bar which is nearly full if not full already we should be pretty much done I have to say when it time it, under time remaining it said minute and then it changed to less than a minute I have to say this has probably been the longest minute I've ever experienced so keep the time remaining take the time remaining with a grain of salt because when I first installed this when I first popped the disc in it said it was going to take I believe an hour and 20 minutes or whatever definitely hasn't taken that long and then coming down on the opposite end it said it's going to take time remaining one minute then less than a minute that's probably been at least four minutes the installation is complete it was installed your computer must restart your computer will start in 25 seconds you can click restart to restart your computer now so we're gonna restart now there we go computer is restarting Now I believe the boot process is going to look exactly the same as Leopard, but uh, we'll do this first boot with you as well. That should be a better viewing angle for you. And all the like weird lines and stuff you see on the screen right now, that just has to do with the video camera interfacing with the glossy screen. Um, I definitely don't see any of that when I'm using the computer. Just I'll uh, type my login information and we're booting. So this is the same background as I had with Leopard before. I anticipate boots that aren't uh, right after the upgrade to take much less time. I feel that Snow Leopard is probably just getting comfortable. Uh, I'm not even sure. I'm sure there's a technical definition of why it takes longer after you install it. Um, probably because it's finishing installation. That's what I would imagine. It looks like the migration assistant is trying to start itself. Setup assistant is trying to start itself. There we are. Everything's starting to initiate. Uh, my uh, status bar stuff is starting to turn itself on. So Dropbox and Connect360 I believe are on and Spotlight is there as well. And there we go, there was the same setup screen we saw with Leopard. And pretty much, looks like everything's working. Let's go to About This Mac. And as you can see, version 10.6, Snow Leopard. One last thing I just wanted to quickly note, and I am not kidding at all. The available space now after the Snow Leopard install is 76.91 gigabytes. A whopping 14.78 gigabytes saved. I'm not exactly sure how this is even possible. Apple only says 6 to 7 gigabytes, and I've read that it could be less, so I'm not sure uh, what's going on here, but I have saved over 14 gigabytes of storage space by upgrading to Snow Leopard. Just something that I thought was really amazing that uh, you guys should keep in mind.